Hey guys, this is Jamo Smash 14 once again, and and this time I'm actually gonna be doing something a little different than I'm I'm used to. Now normally I usually do this kind of format when I'm actually going to be doing a song, but for this time I'm actually gonna be doing angs ang something new today, and today I'm gonna be watching Watch Mojo's newest video. Digimon versus Pokemon. Uh, for the uh, list, I mean, for this is countdown. They're gonna be a uh, watching. I mean, hold on. Yeah, I have the video up uploaded now. I'm watching it from my iPad, uh, not iPad, iPod. No, iPhone. Anyways, is what uh, Pokemon versus Digimon is gonna be doing is that they're gonna be comparing. And, and the two franchises together, and uh, this is actually something that hasn't been and uh, that has actually been done before. Uh, I mean, for those of you who already are fans of Rooster Teeth, you probably might have heard of Screw Attack. And if you guys know about Screw Attack, then you most likely have heard. Sorry, you most likely have heard of Digimon versus Pokemon on Death Battle from Screw Attack. Sorry, I'm going off script here. But that's just as uh, some. I'm going out of my comfort zone, people, and uh, I may stutter a bit. So uh, yeah, forgive me on that. But now I'm actually more of a Digimon fan versus er, what I think of the Pokemon fan. And although this doesn't mean I entirely hate the Pokemon series as a whole, I mean Pokemon's pretty much. Uh, it's just that, in my opinion, Pokemon's not exactly a more uh, original than Digimon. I mean, Digimon uh, is basically a, a word that which is digital monsters. That's pretty much the entire. If you uh, take the first four letters of the word Digimon, it's pretty much. Uh, you don't have to clue in in a Japanese word to figure out it's digital monsters. Whereas with Pokemon, I graded. It's clever use of the idea for uh, ga uh, get, giving the name Pokemon to mean po uh, I mean pocket monsters. Although I will be honest with you, I didn't find out that Pokemon actually meant and 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 pocket monsters. In my mind, I actually thought it was poker monsters. <laughs> yeah, but turns out it's Japanese for pocket monsters. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, okay, I have nothing else to say on the matter, so without further ado, I'm just going to be a, a reacting to Digimon vs. Pokemon, or Pokemon vs. Digimon, <laughs> as it says in Watch Mojo's title, and let's get started. Pokemon, Digimon, we're all mons, can't we just get along? No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> Mojo.com, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting Pokemon against Digimon. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Mm -hmm. This is a rivalry that doesn't really need explaining, so let's cut to the chase. Well, duh! Find out if you won't help. Yeah, enough riddles. Well, whatever. Video games. All right, this. What does the video games Despite have to offer? branching out and finding great success in other forms of media, at its core, Pokemon remains one of the most successful video game series around. It's got that simple yet engaging well, formula of setting out into the Super world. Well, it's in Super Smash Brothers, whereas with Digimon, it hasn't been in Super Smash Brothers at all. Over the years, the I mean, has been tweaked and polished I mean, seriously. The of the original games alive. Yeah. Seriously, it. Digimon should get into uh, Super Smash Brothers. Duh. There, as it's branched out to many different genres, bringing awesome spin-offs like Mystery Dungeon, Snap, Pokémon Tournament, and mm -hmm. Pokémon Ranger series. And Guardian Signs. Unlike its counterpart, oh. the video games centered right. on the Digimon franchise haven't had the same success internationally, despite its commendable list of releases. Long before Pokémon Tournament, the Digidestined and their companions took over the fighting game genre with the Rumble Arena series. The bread and butter of the series remains in the role-playing genre, however, with hits like Cyber Sleuth and the famed Digimon World series still running its course this very day. I actually have one uh, Digimon game, which is Digimon on on, on Arena All-Star. Digimon video game franchise hold a special place in the hearts of the Right appeal, Pokemon takes this one by a landslide. Just look at what happened with Pokemon Go. And look at what happened with Pokemon Go in the depths of many. 
Hi. Okay, before we go on, on to round two of Digimon vs. Pokemon, I'm going to say that Pokemon Go, you guys just caused a lot of deaths all around the world, and more so in 2016, since that was when you released it. Although, Fire Emblem Heroes is coming up your alley, and you better change your taxes quick, or otherwise Fire Emblem Heroes is going to beat out your record by a landslide. Come on, Charmander. Welcome to the group. Charmander! Even to this day, we're still getting new episodes of the, the show. The anime's the pretty much that's why. Where we follow the journey of Ash Ketchum as he traverses yeah. the regions of the mm. world, catching Pokemon and failing to become a Pokemon master. Over the years, we've seen him encounter all forms of villains, legendary Pokemon, and enter countless tournaments, culminating in a show that almost has a thousand episodes under its belt. Not to mention being given star treatment in terms of animation as of late. Yet somehow, we're still supposed to believe Ash is only ten years old. Yeah, I like. While there's still plenty of campy fun to be found here. Digimon definitely has a dark underbelly to it. Yeah, that's what uh, Watch Mojo just said there. That's pretty much the one thing I have have over the Digimon anime over the Pokemon anime. I mean, at least they even try. And this, and even though Pokemon came out before Digimon, they technically came out the same year. So for all you people. Oh, who keeps saying that Pokemon's better than Digimon? Either uh, get your heads out of the gutter or watch Digimon for once and compare it. The majority of each season focusing on a new set of characters and their digital partners. There are plenty of awesome fights, as well as some genuine character development to win fans over as they said goodbye to one group and were greeted by another. They keep things fresh. Special praise had to be given to the third season, which stepped way outside the bounds of a kid's anime. And also the continuation series, Digimon Adventure Tron, yeah. that brought back all of our favorites yeah, in the, the best way possible. Yeah, the third and season was actually the darkest, along with season Pokemon five. Looking better than ever, the argument can definitely be made that it's fallen into something of a pattern, which it's all too happy to repeat. Whereas, Digimon, for all its ups and downs, gave us some form of diversity with each series. And it certainly wasn't afraid to sprinkle on some mature content for additional impact. Winner, Digimon. I'm not kidding. What if he did? He could be hurt or dead or something. Round three, the monsters. Pika, pika, the flagships of each of these Yeah, are the I'm a bit biased towards the monsters themselves. I mean, Peach is my favorite Pokemon, well... I'll, uh, Warmon happens to be one of my favorite Digimons. I'll probably make a list on them. Yeah, I'll make a list on top 10 Pokemon and in top 10 Digimon on later. Sometime. I don't know. Sometime and later on. Oh, that's gonna be bad. In the aptly named digital world, where they're formed from all kinds of data. Some are highly intelligent peacekeepers, oh while dear. others are deadly viruses. Here's Chimera. Oh, the data squad! To stop all that and help their digital partners mm -hmm. ascend through digivolution. Oh. That ad core is still giving me chills. And that's why I like the Digimon uh, more. In a clash of strength, Digimon just might take the gold. However, for the sheer multitude of beloved and memorable Poke Pals, Pokemon clearly takes this round. Oh, come on! Pokemon. There's more Digimon than Pokemon! Round four, franchise evolution. Okay, Pokemon. Um. In terms of video games, Pokemon has pulled out all the stops in taking advantage of the latest technology at Nintendo's disposal, especially in recent years with releases such as Pokemon Tournament and Pokemon Go. However, in terms of actual evolution, the franchise hasn't really reinvented itself, only perfected what they've always done. Yeah, they sort of cheated. Don't get us wrong, it's why we love the games, but for the most part, it's remained comfortably within its boundaries. The anime is equally guilty of this, on which there isn't as much leeway. Come on, give us at least a new protagonist, or so let Ash mature a bit, maybe? Ow! That's got a remark. Digimon hasn't had such a luxury, and has instead tackled that by actively growing up with its audience. Cyber Sleuth is a shiny example of this, as it borrows from more mature JRPGs like Shin Megami Tensei, and even brought in Durarara artist Suzuhito Yasuda for the character designs. Mm -hmm. The series is constantly reimagining itself, but isn't afraid to pay homage to its roots, as is prevalent in Digimon Adventure Tribe. On top of all this, it doesn't shy away from bringing in new, younger fans with series like Aplamon and Digimon Fusion. Sure, 
Many of the new ideas that Digimon pushes out don't hit their mark as well as others, but you can clearly see that they're trying to expand their horizons, way more so than Pokemon in more than one regard. Winner, Digimon. Yeah! Okay, so, uh, the, I have at least one more minute on it, and, uh, I'm gonna see how it goes. Uh, who is gonna take the number one spot, and who will win, and... And and for all you Digimon fans, wish me luck, as I hope Digimon takes the number one spot. As if Pokemon wins, well, congrats to them, um, but I just find it that it's terrible. But then again, at this rate, I'm going to call it a tie, because if Pokemon wins, then at the words, it's a tie, because Digimon beat them, um, and and screw attacks death battle, and if Pokemon wins, and, and, again, and watch Mojo's uh, versus series against Digimon, then I... And, I would fair to say that they even. All right, final round. Round five. Cultural, Cultural impact. impact. Okay, I admit the Pokemon and Digimon series A's theme songs they pretty much stuck in my head. Although the first generation and theme song of uh, Pokemon that pretty much is the only one I even know about. Digimon I know oh every single theme song. Okay, well almost I I still can't wrap my head around Digimon fusions. Even if you aren't a fan of the anime and you can't get into the games, chances are you've at least heard of Pokemon. Pokemon! Pokemon was a Pokemon man! I hate the Simpsons! By fans all over the globe and still going strong in terms of its seemingly never ending anime, movies, and wide roster of video games, people are more likely to recognize Pikachu than most world leaders. Duh! Who's that Pokemon? It's had its ups and downs, but seeing how excited fans are to get their hands on each new installment and throw themselves back into that world, we'd say the evidence speaks for itself that it will be a long time before Pokemon leaves our cultural memory. And I think I just lost because Digimon pretty much, I guess, well Digimon has to beat that, but I guess Digimon pretty much already lost if it doesn't do a good job, I just know it. And I doubt, seriously, I doubt it's winning. Well Digimon retains its hardcore fandom who mm -hmm. are, no doubt, elated to see their favorite characters return for a new series of movies, try their hands at a sweet new set of video games, or buy those notorious $300 Angel Woman statues. Angel <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, party people! What's clear is that Digimon has far from drawn its last breath as a franchise, and with its tendency to venture towards the new, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere in a hurry. But, sadly, it's always going to be seen as an imitator to Pokemon. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. That's my big little bro. Digimon has more than earned its place in anime culture, but up against the mountain that is its pocket monster counterpart, there's just no winning at this point in time. Like I said. Damn it! Winner, Pokemon. Their journey uh. is destined to be packed with non-stop action, millions of laughs, heart-pounding perils, and endless excitement. As valiant as the likes of Agumon and company try, Pikachu and his Poke brethren take the crown again. The winner is Pokemon. Shocking, isn't it? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from watching. Well, no dip! <sighs> called it. I called that there was going to be a tie. Well, Digimon, you just tied with Pokemon yet again. Because, Digimon, you won against and Pokemon and Screw Attack, but Pokemon, you won against Digimon and Watch Mojo. You're fair. You're tied again. Well, I'm just going to uh, say that, yeah, I'll be honest with you. Oh, uh. Yeah, this was a bit of a shock to find that Digimon lost against Pokemon, but I will be honest with you. I guess I can understand why Digimon pretty much lost in that final category. And let's be honest, as I think what the main factor uh, was against and Super Smash... Nah! <laughs> Sorry. I guess what uh, I could see why Digimon lost against Pokemon in cultural... Re uh, a reaction or cultural impact as the last challenge, I mean, la uh, final round was. And you want to know why I think Digimon lost against Pokemon by landslide but in that final category? Pokemon was in Super Smash Brothers. 
Something that I wish Digimon was also in it. Come on, Super Smash Brothers, give us Digimon! <sighs> That's actually one wish I have for the next installment of Super Smash Brothers after the Switch. And yes, there's actually a Switch version of, of Super Smash Brothers coming soon. Well, that's it, everybody. This is, is Jam with Smash 14 and your Pantheon Queen signing up from now. And I still can't believe that Digimon ended up losing against his Pokemon. Jam Pokemon! <sighs>